Assalamu alaikum. Hello kids. Today we are going to learn about a new prophet and he was the nephew of Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam. Can you guess the name? Yes, you are right. It was Prophet Lut alayhi salam. I hope you will like it. Now, listen carefully. Bismillah. The story of Prophet Lut alayhi salam. Do you remember what happened to Prophet Lut in the last episode? Yes, he got separated from Prophet Ibrahim and settled down in a new city. Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam and his wife Sarah left for Babylon, while Prophet Lut headed to a city called Sodom. Sodom was a city located on the western shore of the Dead Sea. The people living in Sodom were very evil. They were very selfish and cruel. They attacked the travelers passing through their town and took all their belongings. Because of this, the travelers were scared to go through Sodom. The men drank alcohol openly and they committed many other crimes, including persecuting the poor. And above all this, the men and women in Sodom worshipped the idols. The Prophet was sad when he saw the sins being committed openly. Without wasting any time, the Prophet summoned the people to give up their indecent behavior. But the people had been committing these sins for generations that they were deaf to his preachings. He warned them of Allah's punishments, but the people didn't care. Instead, they started threatening him. If you don't stop preaching, then we will chase you out of the city, they said. The Prophet was sad when he saw them continuing their way of life. Sodom was now renowned for the evil men residing in the city. This was known all across Arabia. The Prophet continued with his mission in spite of being let down. No one cared about him, and they walked away whenever he started delivering God's message. Not even the members of his own family listened to him. After a while, the people started challenging the Prophet. If Allah is the true God, then tell him to bring down his punishment. We are not going to change our ways. When the Prophet heard this, he was deeply saddened. Years went by, and the Prophet gained no followers. And that's when Allah decided to send the angels to destroy the evil people in Sodom. The angels took the form of humans and first went to the house of Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam. When the Prophet saw the angels, he didn't realize at first who they were. He thought they were travelers and invited them to his house. The Prophet was living with his wife Sarah. They served roasted calf to the angels. Ibrahim alayhi salam saw that the angels were not eating the food. He was concerned and asked them the reason. It was then that the visitors informed the Prophet that they were actually angels sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They told him that Sarah will get pregnant soon and that she will give birth to a child. The Prophet and his wife were delighted to hear this news. The angels told the Prophet that they should name their son Ishaq and that he would grow up to become a Prophet as well. After delivering this good news, they left his house and headed to the city of Sodom. By the time they reached the city, it was afternoon. One of Lut's daughters was filling water from the river. She was stunned when she saw their face. It was so beautiful. She never knew that such handsome men existed on earth. 
the angels approached her and asked if there would be a place to stay in the city. Don't go anywhere, just stay here, she said. I will bring my father, and he will guide you. She ran toward the house to find her father. She was in a hurry. She was in such a hurry that she forgot all about the water jug. Oh, father, she cried. There are three young and attractive men at the town gate. I have never seen such beautiful faces before. The prophet knew that if the local people saw them, they would be in trouble. So he ran to the town gate to meet the visitors. When the prophet saw them, he too didn't recognize the angels. Who are you? And where do you come from? He asked them. But they didn't bother to answer his question. Instead, they asked if they could stay at the prophet's house. Lut was confused now. He wanted to warn the strangers about staying in the city without offending them. Yet, at the same time, he wanted to extend his hospitality shown to the guests. He tried several times to convince them, but they insisted on staying in the city. He left the place, promising to return when it was dark. The prophet went back to the town gates when it was dark to bring them home. He didn't want anyone to know about them, and that is why he insisted to wait until it was dark. And finally, after much sneaking around, they reached his house. The prophet was finally relieved. His plan had worked. His wife entered the room, and she was shocked to see the strangers. She had never seen such handsome men before. You see, the prophet's wife was not such a good person, and she now planned to inform others about the visitors. She slipped out of the house quietly, without anyone noticing her. She ran to her people and informed them about the beautiful strangers at her house. The news of the strangers spread like wildfire. Everyone rushed to Lut's house to see the strangers. Lut was surprised when he saw so many people running towards his house. He knew that they were coming for the strangers. But how did they know about them? He wondered. It was then that he noticed that his wife was missing. He now realized that it was she who had informed them. He was sad that his own wife cheated on him. Luth had locked the door by now, hoping to keep the people away. But the people kept banging at the door. He pleaded with them to leave the strangers alone. He warned them of Allah's punishment. The evil people of Sodom were roaring with laughter now. The people soon broke down the door. Lut tried to stop them. He tried his best to defend his guests, but he stood no chance against such a crowd. He prayed to Allah to grant him the power to defend his guests. The angels saw that the Prophet is now in a state of despair. It was then that they decided to reveal who they actually were. Do not worry, Lut. These people will not be able to harm you. We are angels sent by our Lord. The Prophet was stunned to hear this. And when the mob heard them, they knew they were going to be in much trouble. So they ran away as fast as they could. When the enemies were gone, the angel said to Lut salam, You have to leave this town before sunrise tomorrow. Take your daughters with you as well. Do not take your wife, because she cheated on you. The prophet took his daughters and left the city before the sun came up. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala started the destruction of Sodom when it was morning. At first, he sent the earthquake that rocked the city down. It was as if a mighty power 
had lifted the entire city and flung it down in one jolt. And then he sent a storm of stones that rained on the city. Everyone in the city was destroyed, including the prophet's wife. The town of Sodom was erased from the face of the earth, and no one survived except for the prophet and his daughters. Lut then visited Ibrahim and told him what had happened. But the old prophet already knew this. The angels had told him when they visited his house. The prophet continued to deliver God's message to the people for a long, long time. You see, kids, our benevolent Allah forgives our sins if we repent for our mistakes. But if we forget his words and commit sins, the punishment would be swift and severe, like what happened to the people in Sodom. In the next episode, I will tell you the story of Prophet Ismail alayhi salam, the son of Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam. Keep watching our channel. If you like the video, don't forget to click that subscribe button and stay updated on all our videos. Please tell your friends about the channel as well. That's all for today. Goodbye.